It's in the game. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Barella. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Holland. He continues his run. Still alive. Was it a great clearance? Rafinha. Plenty of support here. Zico. This could be the equaliser. High echelon goalkeeping there. So a throw in for Real Madrid. Barella. Holland. Well, he passed the power test. Shame about the accuracy. And into the last 15 minutes of action. 
Rafinha. Oh, possibilities inside the box. It should be. And a goal. The keeper couldn't stop it. Real Madrid on terms. Well, just look at this again. He's so hard to knock off the ball once he gets going. Of course the defending could be better, but that's a great individual goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Wataru Endo. Here's Robertson. Virgil van Dijk. Konate. Sobosloy. Gakpo. Free kick awarded to Liverpool. Zico. Here's Rafinha. And that is how to beat your opponent. And level it is in the closing moments. Can Real Madrid change that? Can they forge ahead? Oh, they've done it! They forged ahead. And it might be the goal that gives them victory. Well, you have to admire this bit of play. Just look how he runs with the ball. He always looked in control, didn't he? That's a brilliant goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Wataru Endo. And the referee says that will do it. It's the end of the game. And it's a victory for Real Madrid. The fans are going to be happy with this. Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances. But overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory.
Zico. Thirty minutes left for play. Atletico recovering possession well. Erling Haaland. Here's Grealish. And continues his run. Oh, big opportunity! Oh, Black, no difficulties there. Savage. Griezmann. Strong but fair tackle. Holland. Here's Rafinha. And it's in! Real Madrid firmly in charge here. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Great opportunity. And it goes. The lead just gets bigger. Surely they can't let this slip now. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And then Haaland finishes it with such quality. Just look how much power he hits this with. It's a top-class goal from a top-class player. So the action continues and Real very much bossing the proceedings. Grealish. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. Is it going to be? And the keeper stretching to deny him. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Erling Haaland, Rafinha, and teammates around him. Opportunity! Another goal! The lead grows to four now! A rampant display! Well, as you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a play he is. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Making progress. And it might be... Well, favouring placement over power. But that's a moment he would like to forget all about. Not a huge chunk of... And that is that. The end of the game. It goes into the books as a win for Real Madrid.
What did you think of their overall performance? Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times.
Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's Real Madrid facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. So, Boss Loy. Zico. Big chance. Oh, a smart stop. Zico. Fine work from City to win the ball back. Salah. That he did well to win it back. Really well played pass. Danger averted for now. Salah, City moving the ball forwards, what can they do from here? And the opportunity goes a-begging. He decided to hit that with power rather than going for placement. Barella. Difficult to stop him. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. A change in the offing for City. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Zico. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. It's a neat move. Potential opportunity for Manchester City to take the lead. Corner kick it is. And a goal! 1-0 it is. They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. 
Well, the action underway. Can Real find a response now? Thirty minutes left for play. Leon Goretzka. He has teammates around him. Zico. This could square the game. And a goal. The keeper couldn't stop it. Real Madrid on terms. Well, this replay shows just how good Goretzka is when he runs with the ball. And when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance, and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top-class finish. Substitution for Real Madrid. So back underway following the equaliser. Zico. Teo Hernandez. Now Son. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. Now will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Must take the lead here. Can they stop it going in? Danger averted. Ten minutes left for play. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. Rafinha. Well, time is running out to get this win up. But these Real fans certainly believe it's coming. Just listen to the noise. Teo Hernandez. And that is going to be all for this game. Well, we were treated to goals, but no winners in the end. Stuart, what did you make of it? Well, Derek, it was certainly entertaining. Both sides had periods of the game where they were dominant, but overall, I think a draw is just about the right result. Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. How's it going to go, Stuart? Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Rami Ben Sabaini. Rafinha. Goretzka. And up for grabs off the keeper. 
Can they forge ahead? And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Vieira. Park. Leon Goretzka. And a tidy ball. Holland. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Kaoru Mitoma. Ronaldo on the ball. Valverde. Mitoma. Oh, didn't seem to be too much in that offside decision. Ronaldo. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. And a good take under duress there. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Teammates available. Well, a long distance effort and a highly respectable one, Stuart. Well, he surprised everybody, including me. It's a decent effort, you have to say. He succeeds in clearing it. Kim Min Jae. So a half an hour remaining. And the attack fades out. Goretzka. And playing it to the goalkeeper. Barella. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Now with Alison. Jack Grealish. Rafinha. 
Zico. Barella has it. Did well to clear it away. Well, just listen to the noise in here. These Real fans are doing everything to get their team over the finish line. And there's not long left now. Rafael Varan. And that is that. The end of the game. It goes into the books as a win for Real Madrid. What did you think of their overall performance? Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win.
Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today. No rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say with good reason, it's Real Madrid up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Rodrigo. Dumfries. Promising sequence. But can he put them in front? And throwing himself at the ball. On a corner like that, every goalkeeper's dream, really. Fernando Torres. Teo Hernandez. He has teammates around him. Neuhaus. Torres. On to Balak. Neuhaus. On the ball, Balak. Hernandez. Can he finish this? Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. And it goes! Well, the pressure has been mounting, and now they have the lead. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. So Real restart the game. Disappointed to have conceded. Can they find an equaliser? Rafinha. Good pass. He's in with a chance. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top class goal. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Yaya Toure. And here's Neuhaus. And support available. Toure. Opportunity. And a goal in the lead again. Fully deserved. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. So back underway. Intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. 
Well, advantage Tottenham after the first 45 minutes, but a long way from being decided. Torres offside the decision. Lucio, Yaya Toure, and here's Neuhaus, Rodrigo, Toure, Torres, Torres, and a goal it is for Tottenham Hotspur. Well on course for victory here. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the balls ended up in the back of their net. Underway again with the score at 3-1. Ben Sabaini. Barella. No, high quality defending. Rodrigo. And Spurs moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Oh, might be. Surely, Spurs with the corner. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Florian Neuhaus. A glorious chance. And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box. Just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. Well, they get the ball moving once more. And this is turning into a trouncing. Spurs hold all the aces. Jeremy Frimpong. Well, good run and good ball control. Barella. Now with Barella. And Bellingham. On to Holland. Barella. Oh, big opportunity. And a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. Wonderful chance. In it goes. A well taken penalty.
The final whistle, and not to be for Real Madrid. They have to accept defeat. What did you think of their performance as a whole? You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round.